This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of Homeworld FX Galaxy. Okay, we are playing the Kadesh um, uh, campaign. Hang on, we got a message. We have been able to further narrow down the source of the anomalous signal. Data has said other things that I didn't get to see because I was busy doing my intro. <laughs> Anyways, we have our harvesters here. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to harvest to gather some resources here. Um, in the last episode, our escort fleet went up here um, to try to see if they could gather some um, some salvage while the um, Kadesh and the Higarans were fighting each other and ended up getting hit by some sort of EMP blast that rendered them unconscious or possibly even killed them. And in the mix of that, some some sort of enemy, which I codenamed the Claw, um, came in, swooped them down, captured those ships, and ran off with them. We don't know why. We're trying to figure that out right now. Um, so what we're going to do right now is go ahead and research the tapes that we got from them and figure out what the heck actually happened. We also have full control of our um, ship now, so we can build iron array frigates. And I do distinctively remember the last time we recorded this that we did not have the ability to build iron array frigates. We only had the ability to build Vulcan frigates. So this is one of the bugs that they um, corrected from um, uh, from this new version that uh, um, that we're covering right now. So let's go ahead and check out our fleet real quick. Awaiting orders. We got one squadron of scouts, which I probably will we'll actually need those because we have to find that wreckage Definitely. and whatnot. We got seven squadrons of standard corvettes and five squadrons of bombers. I kind of want to keep the standard corvettes as our main Wait, fighter source the because they are really good against enemy fighters. But let's see. Analysis complete. Our ships were taken over by some sort of automated AI defense mechanism. After studying the visual researching believes that... I don't know. <laughs> it is their opinion that these movers ran a strategic charge through the hulls of our ships. With the vessels incapacitated, an AI was then ejected into the control system and kind of took over them. So it sounds like some sort of like beast thing. But different. Basically, it sounds like these AIs, like they EMP'd our units to disable them and then injected some sort of, like, I guess, virus system that killed everyone on, on board and then took control of it. So it kind of sounds similar to the beast in a way. And if you guys have been following our Cataclysm playthrough, you'll, you'll know a little bit more about that. In the meantime... Now that we got our research done, let's see what our objectives are. Rebuild the fleet, and we have the security anomaly that we need to find with the scouts. So the loss of our escort fleet has left us crippled. Recommend falling back to one of the nearby resource deposits and rebuilding the fleet. And then, okay, so that's all we really have to do is just rebuild the fleet. The secondary objectives is to, get, um, to gather the anomaly that the um, Kadesh were holding on to before they perished. Ooh, we can also build a heavy missile module on our attack carrier. Assembly I'm going to go ahead and do that so our attack carrier has um, as much firepower as it needs. And because I I don't know what to expect. This is about as far as we got in the last playthrough we, d we did. And I'm hoping we can get a little bit further. I guess in the meantime, we will have our scout go ahead. I wish waypoints worked in this mod. It would make this so much easier. Anyways, let's go ahead and send our scouts out. Go ahead and cloak them. Oh wait, he was cloaked. Going under. Never mind. We will turn the cloaking back on. And we'll go ahead and send him out. And ooh, yeah, we can build a mine layer corvette too. Let's go ahead and build us a couple more squadrons of bombers. Subsystem construction complete. Because I trust these guys a lot better than I do the other one. Um, all of you guys, I want you to be, let's call you guys group one, Ready for orders. you guys will be group two. Underway. Group two copies. Strike group moving into position. There we go. Are we already done harvesting this area? Holy crap. Awaiting assignment. Collection confirmed. Okay, we got a couple more. 
Let's go harvest that area. Our scout died, so that means that is radiated. I forgot about that. Births are clear. So let's go ahead and rebuild our scout, and we will go ahead. Oh wait. Ah, so does it actually tell me where I need to go this time? Okay, cool. Um, before, I was going to just scout all these little uh, radiation areas to try to see, or dust cloud areas to see what we need, but apparently it wants us to scout this region over here. Because this is where all the uh, things happened. Confirmed. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and cloak you. Move ourselves in that direction. And we'll see what we find when we get there. Okay, so I kind of want to take advantage of a little bit of the naming system. I decided to name our tech carry the the Bark Tech. Um, it sounded piratey to me. <laughs> Not the best when it comes to name, but we have the Bark Tech class attack carrier, and uh, we have Recon One, our Scout Squadron. And just playing around with the with the new feature that they added. I'm pro I'm going to try to implement this a little bit more probably not too much in the campaigns but when we do our skirmish battles I want to implement it a little bit more um, but we made our way over here I guess it's supposed to be anywhere around this area so I'm going to continue to scout around with our recon one um, scout squadron and see what we can find Ooh, what do we have here This is Recon 1. We got it, Captain. Putting in on visuals now. It is a large battleship. The barrel looks like it's falling apart, but one more shot, it won't be moving again with those engines. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Copy that, Recon. Good work. Stand by. Data confirms the alien vessel is of some origin as these units that took over our, our ships. We might be able to use this to our advantage. Okay. Engineering believes that we can rig the vessel's systems to send out a ping burst and initiate its self-destruct sequence. If the reanimated ship are indeed under some kind of AI control, it will likely lure them lure the ship to do stuff. It won't hold us won't hold up long against the firepower of our cruisers, though. If we we will therefore send out a ping burst to our escort fleet. Dispatch a siege drill frigate to carry our technicians on board the alien ship. Take all precautions. Okay, so it looks like basically we're gonna we're gonna use this ship to our advantage. Um, so let's go ahead and keep you next to it to try to reverse engineer and build a ship of our own to try to fight back this EMP pulse thing. So cool. Ah, uh, cool. It killed my scout. Good to know. <laughs> So this means we need to build a small group of ships that can distract that enemy and um, then build a drill fr a frigate to try to capture it. Okay, so the best way to do this and the, probably the cheapest way to do it. Um, let's build... I'll actually go ahead and save it right now. Just in case something we do doesn't go right and I waste a bunch of resources. But let's build a small squadron of fighters, and then we will build that siege drill frigate, and um, we will escort it with some fighters, and we'll use the fighters to distract the enemy. While he's distracted, we'll use the, the drill frigate in order to capture the enemy ship. I decided to rename our carrier to Bacharac, because that to me sounds a little bit better. The Bacharac class attack carrier. So that will be the name of our main pirate commander for this campaign. Okay, our siege frigate is currently on its way. I have decided to name this one the Naktar. And it sounded good to me. So this is our Naktar class uh, siege frigate. And it is being escorted by four groups of fighters. My goal is to... Oh wait, these are bombers. Why did I escort you guys with bombers? Ah, uh, bombers won't do anything. I need fighters. Roger. Fighters. Um. Group three assigned. You are group three. Group three designated. <laughs> Get up here. Group two. Uh, my bombers are supposed Report. to be group two. Group Oopsies. Two but whatever. Group so he's going to be escorted with four groups of fighters. Group my goal is to use the fighters to distract the um, um, enemy frigate while our siege frigate goes up to try to um, capture it. 
and then we'll see what happens or we'll, we'll go from there pretty much okay this cloud right here was a little bit darker than the rest it was a radiated cloud and it already killed all my fighters great okay um let's see if we can still do this okay well what the freak is that oh, okay that's an asteroid i thought that was like a mine this thing was throwing at me i was like i don't even see it why is it throwing mines at me um let's see if we can get close enough to actually see this thing and if it kills us then we'll just rebuild everything and try again without actually hitting the you know the thing jeez come on how close do i have to get green line confirmed There you are. To destination. Infiltration underway. Okay, so we didn't actually have to attack it. I don't think this thing Resistance actually has under. any weapons. So, now we wait. Okay, something's happening. We have, we have been discovered. Sensors indicate all reanimated vessels are closing on our position. All hands, man your battle stations. This will be a tough call. Oh god. Keep your eyes out for our cruiser. It is slow but powerful. Bombers and minefields will be most effective against these. That's a good idea. Um, let's go ahead and go home real quick. Reporting for duty. Build ourselves a mine layer corvette. Construction underway. Build two of them actually. I enjoy the uh, um, beast music going on right now. Pretty awesome. Uh, where's group three? These are all bombers. Receiving. Ready. Group two reinforced. Group two. Right, group coordinates locked in. Okay. Oh, the heavy guns cruiser is coming after us too. Ooh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is this thing captured yet? We're gonna need your firepower to handle this thing. We might be able to handle those with our bombers. But he's going to take out our attack carrier very easily. Okay, you guys, make your way back. Um, I want you guys to go ahead and meet up in that one. This will give us some more time. Everyone group up. We are moving to the second asteroid, or the other field. You guys, get back here. And then, Carrier, I want you... Oh, you are an invasive. Alright, good. Move off in that direction. Ready for order. You, Mine Layer Corvette. Once you two get in position, I want you to be over here. Mine Layer Corvette complete. Okay. Same of you. You get over here. Group one reporting. Squad one. Reporting. Receiving. Oop, that's the mine layer correct. Copy. Group one. Reinforced. Group one. Course set. Group two. Group two. Reporting. Group two. Reinforced. Strike group coordinates locked in. Ooh, he's getting close. He might be going after our resource operations. Which is fine by me. I believe the attack carrier should be faster than the heavy guns cruiser. Hopefully. So far he looks like he is. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, get over there. Get over here. Um, we do need to see if he's being escorted by anything. If the thing's by itself, we might be able to wipe it out with our bombers. We do have quite a bit of bombers. Bombers, I want you to go neutral. Engage. Start your attack run on the heavy cruiser. Wipe it out. All of it. Group one reporting. Ready. Resource collector standing by. Oh yeah, you do have a missile salvo. Ooh. Group one responding. Group one, Order get here. Confirmed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Attack carrier, build me something big. Build me some iron array frigates. 
strike group under enemy attack. There we go. Group one. Confirmed. All right, attack carrier. Move around. Cause I don't know how well those things are going to survive against those, but it looks like we're doing some decent amount of damage. If anything, if these bombers can soften up this heavy cruiser, and then we can wipe it out with the attack carrier, it would be nice. There you go. Also launch all of your bombs. Strike group reports hostile contact. Copy. Whew. Man, that heavy cruiser does a lot of damage. Come on. Kill it. There you go. Now run. Okay, so we are back up to um, uh, capturing the um, arsenal ship. Uh, I did a little bit different strategy this time. I went ahead and built my iron array frigates. Apparently right now we can only build three iron array frigates, so those are built. I did a little bit of research to try to get our armor and damage up going a little bit. I did the bomber research, um, the frigate and capital ship health research, and the capital ship damage research. So our bark, uh, bark tech, oh yeah, <laughs> that didn't change from last time, so he's going to be just called bark tech. Um, our bark tech uh, ship should do more damage, and the... Um, Iron Array Frigate should do more damage as well. This time, my plan is just to move the attack carrier into this dust cloud area and then just keep making my way over to the Arsenal Frigate, or Arsenal ship, and use the Arsenal ship to kill the uh, big ships. Hopefully by then the Heavy Cruiser will be destroyed and the Iron Can Frigates can be destroyed and we won't have to worry too much about our carrier taking a lot of damage. I figured the carrier could absorb more damage than it actually did. Um, so that's why I turned around in the last video and started using go, the attack go, go. carrier to attack the enemy. But that heavy cruiser does a massive amount of damage against um, carriers, which I should have known. So yeah, this time not going to take any chances and we're just going to run away and use our bombers and iron array frigates to take care of the enemy. Ooh, what's going on now? We're in. We have set the wires to initiate the ener energy overload sequence. She's good to go. Good work. Mis facilitate the derelict and return at once. If this work, the reanimated ships will be um, all over in all over it shortly. Oh, so this time, since I captured it before the mission started, there's a different storyline going on. Okay. All route. Picking up movement. Multiple interceptors on um, inbound on the bait. This is part where we gamble our lives. Uh, so this time, since I got it captured fast enough, it does a different storyline. Last time, I was able to use this baby as a um, weapon, um, but this time we're using it as a way to destroy the enemy. It worked! We got radar signatures moving on our position now. All hands, stand by to receive. Keep your eyes open for our cruiser. It is slow but powerful. Bombers and minefields may give us the edge needed to topple it. Okay, so you heading towards the cruiser, or are you heading towards me? Because I don't have control of the cruiser this time, so I don't know where it's going. It's heading towards me. All right. Roger. You head over here. All the one reporting. fighters and bombers. Strike group coordinates locked in. Go ahead and move Strike there. Coordinates locked in. Iron array Three frigates copies. do the same thing. Locked in. Hmm. So this is kind of interesting. Last time I was able to move it, this time I can't. Very, very interesting. You guys move in that direction as well. Do, do, do. Do, do. Destination confirmed. 
I love the uh, Homework Cataclysm soundtrack. Seems like you guys love it too. I will not be complaining about that. Okay, he's getting closer. Keep one copies. Standing by. Move order confirmed. Okay. Command ship, you move in that direction. Group one copies. Group two. Right, group coordinates locked in. Let's go ahead and see if we can get ready to start destroying that heavy cruiser again. Group three. Group three. Move order confirmed. You go ahead and cloak. Follow behind. Move order confirmed. Group one. Wait into that. Responding. Big uh Four designated. Big ship gets in um range. En route. Could try and salvage it, but I don't think that's gonna make a difference. Oh hey, this time they brought fighters. <laughs> Group one handle these fifty million fighters that they brought in. So group two, you have to stay behind for now. You guys group three want you to be an evasive don't want you to actually attack the enemy ready group 2 copies group 1 acknowledged group 2 engage capital ship you start your runs group 3 once they get the attention group 4 under attack which looks like they do you start your attack too Yeah, you keep going. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wipe out this heavy cruiser. Hey, we lost an iron ray frigate. That's fine. They're sacrificial pawns. While the bombers do the true damage. Group two reporting. All stations report in by the numbers. Group one copies. Group one. Attack vector laid in. You keep killing the fighters so that group, one group two can keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, I didn't expect those iron array frigates to last. I just wanted to use them as a way to keep the heavy guns distracted so the carrier can continue making his way up. But almost got it killed. And it doesn't die. There it goes. It just wasn't activating anything. The cruiser has been destroyed. We have we have done here we are done here, gents. Um, something going on. I guess we're celebrating. Did we do it? Did we win? Mission complete. Cool! Wow. Okay. So, I guess the biggest threat was that heavy guns ship, which I completely understand that when I failed the mission earlier. <laughs> but we did it. We um, fought back that alien technology. I kind of wish there was a little bit more to that campaign because it kind of leaves you hanging. Like, I want, wish we had a way to investigate of what caused that EMP blast, which caused this whole situation in the first place. But that's the end of the Tyrannic Raider campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I liked it. I still got questions there at the end, like I said. Like what exactly caused that whole EMP blast? Why was it so perfectly timed? Which means that someone was probably, you know, watching that battle. And um, yeah, I still got questions, but I enjoyed it anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I think next we're going to start doing some more skirmish campaigns because um, I don't want to do all the camp. All the, or the you know normal campaigns at once. I kind of want to keep them you know spread apart so we're not covering the same thing and getting bored of doing it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet, Makan has found Valcora Gate. 
The coordinates are 1134489 We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle. 